okay? And what happened in this case is that they did that. They wanted to solve the case, resolve the case, close the case so quickly that they refused to listen to any other, any other evidence that didn't comport with what they wanted, uh, what they believed or what they wanted their narrative to be. The evidence will show, the evidence will show, <laughs> Well, that's hard. You got to more. Got it. Got it. What the evidence will show. Got I got you. So, so listen. You're gonna you're gonna hear from Detective Curcio, and, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna you know cross examine him, and I'm gonna get a lot of things out. But for instance, when they around 2021, the evidence will show that Tenel Carter, Diedrich's Diedrich's ex girlfriend, came forward and said, "Hey." Um, I want to make sure that you guys know that that Dietrich wasn't driving. That Dietrich, that, that now she basically was altering her statement, and you would say to yourself, "Wow, that's big, right? That's a big thing because this is a this is a very important case. This is, as you can imagine, one of Broward County's more important cases simply because it involves a celebrity, which it shouldn't be, but it is. Okay, and you have one of their main witnesses, one of the witnesses that they're relying on to put him in the car." that they're relying on to put her behind the wheel, she comes forward and the testimony will show and the evidence will show that they didn't do anything. They didn't, they didn't bring her in to re-interview her, to talk to her, no, nothing. Because it, it didn't comport with the narrative that they wanted to pursue, okay? In the same breath, before X died, he said, if anybody kills me, it's Drake. And do you think that for one moment, here today, days after the event, he's killed by two masked men, right? He came out on social media and said, guys, before he does, if anybody kills me, it's straight. Do you think in that time, time span that they went and they addressed him, they talked to him? No. Do you think sitting here today, years later, any detective has ever asked, you know, Drake or, or anybody like that? No, they never did that. So you ask yourself, how could that be? If any of us, is involved in, you know, God forbid, in a murder, and you say, hey, it's so-and-so, you better believe so-and-so is gonna get investigated. But in this case, they didn't do it. They didn't do it because it didn't, it didn't comport with their version and their narrative. And as law enforcement, I think that they have the obligation to do so. Another issue, before, the, and the evidence will show that before um, Mr. Onfroyd uh, was killed, there was an individual by the name of Antonio King, AKA 600 Breezy, that posted on, on YouTube saying, when I get off of probation, Just I'm going to- Don't object, please go sidebar. Like I was saying, this individual, uh, Antonio King, 600 Breezy, literally came here to Florida and took videos by Mr. Onfroy's house, threatening him, okay? Fast forward, he shot by two masked men. Do you think BSO ever investigated this? Do you think any, anyone in Broward County ever you know, went to ask him any questions? To this day, years later, that's never happened. So ask yourself, why? Why would they not investigate it? Because it doesn't comport to the narrative that they want. And that's, that's gonna be a motif in this case. You're gonna see that it's consistently the same issue. It's not what they want to hear. It's not what they want to hear. So they don't investigate it. And they have an obligation to do 